Welcome to Crusader Kings 2, Emperor O the Second Contra. I don't know why he's... Emperor O Contra the Second of the Holy Roman Empire. That's right, last episode. At the ripe old age of 18, we finally conquered 19,000 troops. I'll worry about that in a minute. We <laughs> we finally conquered the HRE. It's ours. Once again, we fulfilled our father's legacy, a man who had the HRE for all of a month. Before dropping down dead and then having someone else elected. Or the previous emperor came back, I should say. Who we have we since have deposed. The false ruler. Um, I imagine he's probably pretty pissed off at us now though, huh? Yeah, he's not going to be best place seeing as we've taken the HRE. Foreign conqueror resigned from the council to me usurp title. Although, hang on. Five opinion. <laughs> That's so good. We took this. So, just to recap. This dude was the Holy Roman Emperor. Our father conquered the HRE after demanding himself to be installed as a claimant, with nobody backing him, to my knowledge. He conquered, we won, we've taken the HRE for about a month, then our father died. This dude then got re-elected Emperor, because he was the previous Emperor, I assume it's, you know, job experience and all that. Got re-elected Emperor for all of about 10 years, then we turned up, we came of age, and reconquered it. And took back our father's legacy. So I'm kind of surprised this dude doesn't hate us a little bit more. All things considered. Have 400 gold. Have an honorary title as well, my friend. You can be my whatever that is. The Arch Marshal. There we go. Nice. He's now 61 opinion of us, despite the fact that we've stolen his title twice in a row. That's <laughs> prime CK2 right there. All right, here we got in our prison. Let's just let them all go. You know what? Be, be free. Known plots. That's going to be an auto stop all from me, my friend. I, I can't be bothered with it. Ma managing an empire's plots all individually, not worth it. Oh, God, we've got pneumonia. If we die, I'm actually going to cry. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. If we live another month with the HRA and then die, I'm, I'm going to cry. Okay. Pneumonic. What have we got? Good symptom treatment. Oh, my God. The HRE currently stands at 75% Imperial Decay. So this is a mechanic introduced by HIB. CK2 Plus has a very similar system called Imperial Decadence, whereby... A bad emperor, who's a poor ruler, who fails to do things in, in a, you know, an imperial way, is going to occur decay, or decadence, as, as, as CK2 Plus would put it. That gives you stacking negative uh, modifiers to the empire, stacking malices. Uh, I mean, you can see from there, levy size down by 34%, tax modifier down by 37%. Imperial decay is increased by the title changing hands, more if usurped, kind of my fault, will agree. Crown authority is low, so that's one thing that we can change very, very quickly. I mean, actually, we have to do that anyway to get primogeniture, so that would kill two birds with one stone. Having a very large realm. That's not my fault. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Uh, what, what, sorry, what else was it? Hang on, let's go back to that. Um, losing crusades and holy wars. I don't think we've actually lost any crusades or holy wars, to be honest with you. There are crusades we haven't taken part in, but I don't think that's the same. Random events caused by a poor ruler or regent. Well, we are neither of those, so we're fine. It can be reduced by A, becoming coronated. I don't think we can become coronated, seeing as we are already the emperor, right? Hold the grand tournament by indulgence. Yeah, we can't really do much uh, beyond that. No, there's definitely no option to become coronated again as emperor. We were already coronated as a king, so we can't, you know, redo it. I believe the Pope has to give our, it, a blessing to us, though, for becoming the Holy Roman Emperor. But we'll we'll look, look more at that in a minute. Um... Crown authority is high, so we just need high crown authority, and that will also help reduce it. Not only will it prevent it from being increased, but it will also reduce it. Good. Uh, the realm was overthrown by an internal revolt. Oh. Oh, interesting, I see. So, so if things are bad and the people rise up and manage to get rid of the shitty ruler, or the shitty current government, I guess is the right way to put it, then the, uh, the person who inherits, the person who's revolted, actually loses some of that decay because, you know, they've basically given a second chance. Sure. Using the imperial, lower imperial decay decision, that seems useful. Winning crusades and holy wars, winning major invasions and rebellions, uh, enforcing, so winning against, I assume that means major invasions and rebellions, enforcing imperial to jour claims, something we could tr actually try and do. Um, so no, I think we hold the, the whole imperial, uh, HRE anyway, or all the de jour HRE anyway. These boys might be, no, I think that's it, right? HRE. De jour. Yeah. No, oh, no. That does actually count as de jour. Right. So if we go and enforce claims on... Uh, what is that place called? Checky. We could go and enforce claims on Checky. That should, in theory, give us back a little bit of decadence or undo some of the uh, decay here. What else have we got? Random events caused by a good ruler or regent. Well, hopefully. I mean, our dude is incredible. So fingers crossed. Just by being a good ruler. Just by playing the game well. We can help lower that. I don't particularly want to get too ambitious with things until we fix that. That is a massive, massive issue. Hopefully flipping over to ruler focus as well would help out a little bit. Right, okay, so, holding a grand tournament helps reduce decay. It's 200 gold, 100 prestige, let's do it. 
Emperor Ocontra II of the Holy Roman Empire has decided to hold a grand tournament. He has sent invitations to warriors all across the HRE, calling them to assemble in Paris. The tournament begins soon. Nice. Okay. By indulgence, how much money will the Pope want? I mean, if he only asks for like 600 gold, that's fine. Your court physician, this dude... Kind of likes us, and he's also got good learning. Let's not risk it. My life is in your hands means that he will use an experimental surgery, and it can vary massively. It could kill us, or it could cure us instantly. Let's just play it safe. Nice. Plus two health to everything. I think we're going to survive that one. If we die of pneumonia now, I'm going to be livid. Right, there we go. So, that's why I wanted to do the tournament first before we bought indulgence, because now the dude only wants 409 gold. That's fine. That's actually a very small price to pay. That's like 10 months worth of cash. Absolutely. Thank you, Pope. This Pope surely loves us a lot now, seeing as we deposed an anti-Pope, and... Seriously, only 64? Because of fringe vestiture. Oh, yeah, I remember. We tried changing that at the end of the last episode, didn't we? But it failed. The shepherds have failed. Without the guidance of Amundo, the men and women aptly named the Shepherds Crusade had started to fall apart. His death broke the morale of the peasant army, and they have fled to all the corners of the world. Died feverish and sweating. Didn't even die in battle. He died just of an illness. Crazy. Okay. I wonder how far they got. Is there any way to know now that they've failed? Um, the Byzantine troops there. No, I don't think we can see them. Interesting. As expected. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay. Titular kingdoms, not worth it. Righteous imprisonment. We should probably take a look at that as well. Uh, although, a lot of these are genuinely going to be people who are... Oh, fine. A lot of these are going to be people who basically... No current... Oh, right. Okay, that's plots trying to clear. But plots trying to clear is exactly what I was trying to say with that sentence. These, a lot of the righteous imprisonment are going to be plots whereby people either have yet to agree to uh, giving up or it's in the process of giving up the plot. There are, apparently there is one exception to that though. Uh, we got a couple. We got two people we can righteously imprison. Yeah. So we've got Magravine or Duke Valoran. I mean, this guy loves us. She is also quite fond of us. I don't think it's risk worth risking wars with two Dukes. They're quite powerful Dukes over what is probably going to be nothing. Right. The Grand Tournament begins. We apparently can't take part in this tournament, probably because we are mnemonic. Otherwise, I'd be absolutely up for that. What's our personal combat? 35. Um, and I imagine mnemonic is reducing that down by 35. Actually, we're not that good a warrior. You know what? I will enjoy watching from the stands, because we don't want to die yet. Burn the apostate. That sounds about right. Um, this guy wants... No. Again, we're, we're under our vassal limits. There's no point right now agreeing to their requests. Um, we don't really care about that one. Right. Let's. I, I want to know if this will reduce Imperial Decay. Because this is very, very worrying right now. What's our... Uh, minus 116% rent new size is nuts. Plot power defense, minus 75%. What? I didn't see that one, but holy shit. So we are 70%... Oh, oh sorry, I should say that there's 75% bonus to anybody who ever wants to assassinate us. Shit, really? Morale of armies down by 37%. Levy reinforcement rate down by 45%. The vassal opinion minus 10 is actually not too bad. Man... That's really bad. So if we piss someone off and they want to assassinate us, it's going to be so easy for them to do. Okay, I'm glad we're also, also stopping plots in hindsight. This guy, I'm going to ask you to end your plot, please. Uh, he's still saying no. Really? Even though he loves us? A hundred opinion of us, and he's fabricating a claim against us. We can't say no. Sure. This woman is a famous beauty. Please load the Imperial Decadence for the love of God. Third place in the tournament? Don't care. Second place in the tournament? Don't care. He truly deserves it. What about that Imperial? There we are. Imperial Decay reduced by one. Right, I, I mean, what does that account for, though? Imperial Decay is 75%. What is it reduced by one? What, 1%? One I fucking hope not. It just says 75%. So let's take a look now. Still says 75%. Maybe it updates maybe monthly. There we go. Oh my god, it was actually 1%. Are you kidding me? And it's a, 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 a plot powers are boosted 1% by every percent of Imperial Decay we have. So if we get 90% Imperial Decay, even the most idiot of, of you know, assassins or entry characters are going to be able to kill us. This is nuts. You know what? I want to go back to being the King of France. This was a mistake. Lose a trait mnemonic. This was a horrible decision. A saint in heaven? Again, not any relative of ours, so I don't really care. So our current goal then, long-term goal, is obviously mend the Great Schism. Um, we can do that as Catholic in this, can't we? Uh... So we've got to, yeah, so we are repairing it from a Catholic perspective. So we've got to convert Constantinople to Catholic, um, Antioch to Catholic, Codus, I don't know where that is, Alexandria to Catholic. Um, oh, that's got to be Jerusalem, isn't it? Uh, Rome is obviously already Catholic, and uh, that's basically it. So we have to completely control Rome, actually, to mend the schism. So we'd have to offer the Pope vassalization, which, of course, he's going to say no, because he's the Pope, and that's generally what, the, you know, he's like. Let's we'll declare war on, on Rome in that case. I suppose that's probably why you would set up an anti-pope. You set up an anti-pope and go to war for Rome to establish that pope and make him your vassal. Would be nice to have a vassal pope, I will admit. Um, 
How do we set up an antipope? I've actually never done it before. Um, I need to I need to work this out. So let's say, I don't know, let's find a powerful bishop in the realm. Maybe that's just how you do it. And then you right click and you click make pope. Um, we're looking for a, here you go, you'll do. Make pope. Nothing. I actually don't know how to set up an antipope. Like I said, I've, I've never actually done it before. Um, is, there, is there a button here? Ex communication, divorce, invasion, claim, money. Yeah, no, I'm not too concerned, to be honest with you. I don't think it's that big a deal. We can just make the current Pope like it's all these saints that aren't ours. So annoyed. Okay, let's push some claims then. Let's, uh, what is it? Imperial? Imper Imperial reconquest force? Uh, no, no, it's gotta be like an Imperial or something, right? They're just Dijon claims, so I guess we just go Dijon claim on Jackie. I assume that's it. Boom. There we go. And this should be fairly straightforward, I'd hope. Well, to be fair, we do have quite a high retinue size now. Wow. Okay, that's a lot more than I thought, given that the Imperial Decadence is destroying us. Just imagine the type of army we'd be able to have if we didn't have that Imperial Decay. That's nuts. Alright, uh, let's set ourselves a rally point. I don't know, somewhere a bit more central in the HRE, I guess. How about here? That would do. Um, is it is it anywhere? What about here? Hang on. 25k. Oh, that one actually did have 45k supply. I'm looking for somewhere where all our troops aren't going to starve to death. Right. Move there. Raise all the men. And let's send our own retinue over there as well. And we'll just sort of, you know, coalesce around there, I guess. And then move out after that. Burn the apostate. I'm always good for burning apostates. Does that, does that reduce the period decay? Please? My wife is pregnant. Good. Probably not a bad thing, seeing as we've only got one son right now. Don't forget, he is a direct upgrade from us. Or he's, we are death fruitful and prodigy. He's just fruitful. Or, or sorry, unfruitful and prodigy. You are going to be trained in thrift. No, you're not. You're going to be trained in juicy. Because as we found out, apparently conscientious and prodigy can... You know, you can get both. So that's fine. Maybe we want to join... Maybe we want to join... Bear with me on this one. The Benedictine Order. Or the Dominican Order. We could join the Hermits. Which would allow us to equip our Magnum Opus. Oh, wait. Wait. Don't we already... Oh, wow. Ah, oh, the, the crown. Wear it. We can we can wear the uh, the Reich's crown. The, the, basically, Emperor's crown. That's cool. Diplomacy plus four? For a fancy hat? That's crazy. I mean, to be fair, though, Jesus' hat, which is literally just made of thorns, gives diplomacy plus one, so that's fair. Um, right, fair enough. What have we got for our ceremony? Oh, scepter, unequipped. Oh, no, that is equipped. Crown of pearls, well, we've got a better one now, so we don't need that one. All right, just making sure that all of our... Yeah, wow, that's crazy. The Imperial Crown of the Holy Roman Empire. So I guess you just get that if you're the emperor. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, that's, that's a nice little mechanic, I guess. It's very, very powerful, too. Like, the diplomacy plus four is, is nuts. Temple vassal opinion, I just noticed as well, plus ten. We must be beloved in the Christian world because of all these ridiculous artifacts we've got. Um, wife, you get the top one because apparently the others will give your kid negative traits, which I definitely am not interested in. Alright, Siege of Galt's not a problem. How many men have we got? We can only raise, as the Holy Roman Emperor, 22,000 men. That is including vassal levies as well. That decadence is killing me, my dude. That's, oh, that's actually insane. Alright, well, let's move over and then I'll split the troops after that. We don't really need this many troops, but you know... Um, I'm going to send them all anyway. Of course, we're going to spend money to make sure that this air comes out pretty well. Someone's screaming. Uh, excuse me, please be quiet. I'm trying to record a video. All right. I, I was in-game. That was it. I, before someone points out, I actually stream I think you'll find out this in-game. I'm going to beat you to it. We can usurp a title. Um, okay, sure. Nice. Thank you. And um, we'll just give that out to some random. What was that one called? Po oh, it's Pomerania. Right. Uh, here you go, my friend. Duchy of Pomerania. You enjoy that one. Right, uh, I was going to say we'd split these troops up, but actually, apparently, they've got enough supply here, so we might as well just quickly assault these places down. Now, what did they take from us? Was it this one? Why that one, of all places? Actually, of Wittenberg, it was. Why that one? I have no idea. A daughter called... A oh, Adele, and she's a prodigy as well. Man, this prodigy trait seems quite high in heritage chance when both parents have got it, huh? Curious fussy, you'll do. Um... We need a good name for you. We cannot simply call you Adele Carling. We have to continue on with the naming theme we've had the entire playthrough. My daughter, you shall be called Cock O Van. As in, you know, if, if you if a guy offers you a chloroform rag, you're probably gonna get right there we go. Cock O Van Carling. Was it is it V I N? I'm almost certain it's V I N, but I'm not entirely sure in hindsight. If I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Right, okay. Um, to build the ambition to have a daughter, not, that was, that was not true at all. I actually wanted a son, but we didn't have an option for son number two. Have five children? Might have been a bad plan, seeing as we've only got still one surviving male of House Carling. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the backup son as well. Um, have five children, that seems good. Yeah, let's go for that. Right, let's send down their troops, because their troops keep moving faster than I can catch them. Hey, do you wanna stand there so you can, oh no, that's probably where they've sieged. 
That's probably a different war entirely. Right, so we'll hit them there and then move south to counter siege that province. Meanwhile, these boys can at least start a siege and then we'll get these ones to take over when they're done with this one. Um, just because, you know, them having a province siege is going to stop us winning this war anyway. Right, there we go. Hey, that was pretty good. 86%. Right, move in here, take over from this one, and then we'll send these boys out to, I guess, kill some troops. It's probably not a bad plan. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is cool. The heavens briefly lit up and a ground shook as the rock from the sky crashed into the castle gardens. I sent my men to investigate and they came out with a lump of curious metal we have not seen before. It is a gift from God it should go to the church. It's just metal. Sell it and do it quickly. This metal will make for a truly legendary blade. You set your smiths to work on forging a meteoric sword. That's incredible. Okay, I don't think we actually have a good weapon. We have the, like, the Chinese G, but that's nowhere near as cool as the meteor sword, is it? Um... Golden Sword tends to not be very good in combat. We've got a Lance of the Cross, which also is... Oh, man, actually, we've got a lot of swords. What weapon are we using if we don't have a... Oh, we don't have a weapon equipped. Oh, shit. Well, that's me being an idiot. Um, I guess we go for that one, then, seeing as that gives us a flat marsh bonus. The other are more about personal combat. All right. It's going to be that one done. Sword of Heroes. Oh, okay. That one took no time at all. What is that? Sword of... Sword of Heroes. Um, yeah, where is it? Oh, Sword... Oh, Sword from Heaven? Sure. Uh, actually, not that good at all. Well, that was a waste of time. It's nice that, uh, actually, Paradox has spent a lot of time upgrading all these portraits. I, I think this looks very, very realistic. I especially love her blurry hairline and Klingon features. I mean, who thought that was a good idea? That's so horrifying. Right, 98%. Obviously, I know it's from, it's from HIP. I can't really blame Paradox too much for that one. 100%. Thank you very much. Please, my Imperial Decadence, who are you? King of Alba? That's Scotland. Uh, wants to marry my, uh, my courtier? Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Right, okay, so Imperial Decadence right now sits at 74%. If we enforce demands, I'm going to assume that via my, my power and my majesty and my wisdom, uh, type can be usurped. Thank you very much. We'll take that one if you don't mind. Boom. And we'll give that to, I mean, anyone. Grand Line Tile, there you go. Check is yours, my friend. Use it well. Right, troops down. Let's see what we've actually got out of this. Um, send you back to Paris because you are the retinue. Uh, please have done something. Funny, I knew this sooner. My zeal and religious beliefs have led me to become a respected and more prestige. Uh, we've got ourselves another bard, uh, obviously caused by our our father. Was it our last character? Au contraire, being a patron of the arts? Honestly, don't remember. Um, we can check. Au contraire, it was au contraire. Thank you, au contraire. You are welcome to stay and... Wait, did they both tick at the same time? That's kind of cool, I guess. We, and we got ourselves a warrior as well from our Carling blood. Right, so Imperial Decadence now sits at 7... Great. So it's 1% per action. Well, that's great. I mean, all we've got to do is have another fucking 40 tournaments and 33 more wars, and then we're good, team. Seriously? What have you idiots been doing to this empire? Do you know how long it's going to take me to undo the problems they've caused us? I don't, I don't want to be emperor. I don't think I want to become primogeniture anymore. Really? How long have we got to wait till we can become primogeniture anyway? Um... So we conquered it in 12... So we've already been an emperor for two years. Okay, so it's going to be roughly 1235 or around there towards the end of the year when we can take control of that. Wow. That's actually horrible. So when we've ruled for five years, we can reduce... Uh, there is the obviously the lower imperial decay button. Um, though to my knowledge, what I'm sort of gathering from this, at the second one from the bottom there, the Holy Roman Empire has at least three imperial decay. If it only reduces it down by three... I mean, that's not good either. You kind of assume maybe it'd be like, oh, you know, half it or whatever. But that's... Come on, what? <laughs> Can't believe this. Taking like the big... I mean, to be fair, it does stop us blobbing and stop us going crazy. And it sort of makes the end game of CK2 a lot more political and a little less just go to war with anybody weaker than you. You're hideous. I must decline. Um, this guy wants to be my new court chaplain. Bishop. Amory. I mean, this guy's also higher rank as well, so sure, I'll, I'll let my body. He's also got 25 loans, so of course he will. Right, we need to be passing laws. So, first things first, we need to abolish the council. I mean, obviously. Um, we can't pass another council abolishment law until 1234. Fine. Um, that sucks, actually. And we can't pass another crown law until when? Uh, 1229. Oh, that's 12... Oh, uh, my God, really? We could go high crown authority. That will... Obviously help reduce Imperial Decay. One supporter. We've got six undecided. So with enough money. Let's get let's save up a little bit of cash. Let's bribe a bunch of people. I think this is doable. I, I genuinely think we can go high crown authority. Now it's minus 15 opinion with everyone. Um, but 
in the long term, if we're a good enough diplomat, help keep the round together a little bit, so it might be worth it. Now, this is interesting. We can launch a great conquest of Sicily, and I don't really know why. What? What's going to cost us 3,000 prestige and 1,500 piety? It's just because we've got enough of it. Wow. Um, so long as they're strong and as you... Uh, so they're as, uh, as long as they're as strong as you or stronger. That doesn't seem right at all. Seeing as he had 4,300 levy size, we have 26,000 and we're the friggin' HRE and he's Sicily. What? Why can we go to... Oh my god, Antioch's massive. Why can we go to war for that? I don't know why that works, but it does work. And honestly, I think I'm probably going to go for it. Great conquest of Sicily. Let's do it. This also might add to our... Or might reduce from our Imperial Decay. Because I think it's part of the du jour HRE, right? Because they've got some parts of uh, Italy in there. Um, oh no, it's actually not. No, not quite. They're, they're close, but actually not quite. I mean, I feel like we probably just should grab Sicily, you know. Take the whole Italian peninsula. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, get out of here with that. Um, did you climb on Sicily? That's mine now. It costs a lot of prestige and a lot of piety. But again, we're, we're 18 years or 20. And we've got 3,000 prestige. Soon we'll be able to make our own bloodline again. That's insane. Okay. Let's do it, squad. This is, a, this is a good war. This is definitely, I would say, a worthwhile, valuable war. Bring all the troops down to, I guess, a good province near the north of Italy. Um... What about, like, what have we got? What about, like, Medina? We'll go somewhere around here, anyway. That will do. We're just looking for someone with high supplies, so short of clicking on every province. Um, what's that one? That one will do. Right on the coast? Sure. Why not? There you go. Alright, basically all of our forces at this point are in Italy, stomping through. Hopefully we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna sweep through and kill as many as we can on the way, I guess. I'm, I'm not really too concerned about this one, because it seems like it's a fairly easy war. Which, again, confuses me, because I don't know why the hell we were allowed to use a Great Conquest cast spell against them. Um, they're gonna win that one, though. Or not. No, they are not at all. We're just gonna annihilate them all. Blessed be his name. Whatever. Someone else getting beatified who probably doesn't deserve it. Whatever. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, ble yeah, blessed be his name as well. Everybody's name is blessed, besides the name of Duke Labaguette. Uh, a, a betrayal that we will never forgive. We will always remember. The local saint was an inspiration to us all. Gain humble for free. Sure, I'll take humble for free. We should probably go and reinforce these troops, otherwise they're gonna die. Ah! There we go. Saved it. No, not nothing to worry about. Just a little bit of screaming. We're good. Man, we're losing a lot of troops though, huh? it has been quite a disastrous war. Right, okay. We're good. Now, let's start hitting the capital. Get out of here. Right, let's take up the capital as soon as possible and basically just count a siege up towards Italy. I mean, oh, they've got 10,000 men yet. That's actually their army. How have we, how do we miss them? Because we just walk past one another. All right, this is going to take some time because unfortunately they do have quite sizable fort levels down here. Apparently we're all also taking attrition. Excuse me. Please, I need to feed my men. I mean, forts don't really help out much down in Sicily, I guess. All right, take them out. Actually, we're not losing too many men. It's a, it's a very small amount of attrition. Oh, God. Uh, hello. How are you doing? I think we've got great commanders, so I'm not too concerned. 35, 35, 27. They're taking a river crossing. Shit, they're actually going to kill us there. Okay. Um, hey, how do I get my vassals to come to war? Hey, vassals, help me for the love of God. We've got 2,000 gold, so I might actually have to hire some people to help out here. Um, mercenaries? What we got? I don't want to hire the Romans. That's way too much. Um, 35,000 men. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. Uh, I don't mind spending a little bit, but not that. Oh, that, they're pretty good. 18,000? Sure, you'll do. Right. Come down and help me in Sicily, goddammit, because I think they might have us on this one. Yeah, they've definitely got us on this one, unfortunately. Even though we got great commanders, winning something like that would be very, very difficult. We did well. We did well. We, oh, you know what? Almost equal losses. So I'll take that one. Wasn't a huge, huge loss. Right, get out of there. We've still got Shattered Retreat. Um, I couldn't I couldn't disable it in the save game for whatever reason. I did actually try and turn it off. It's just occurred to me that that's still enabled. Oh, that doesn't matter too much. Right, bring them down. Maybe Shattered Retreat is a permanent thing in this. I don't know. Maybe maybe they've made it so you can't disable it. Either way, another one bites the dust. Goodbye. Right. Uh, where are our other... There we are. Mercenaries, 18,000 men should be enough. I don't know how we missed this large army. And obviously, all the other fights in the garrison as well. Losing that sort of made our numbers drop to the extent that we couldn't fight. Why? This is too many saints, Pope. Or is he getting paid by the hour? Is he getting paid by the saint or something? That's absolutely ridiculous. I should do the command myself. Okay, this is good because we are trying to increase our own personal combat skills. Let's do it. Victorious match. Nice. That guy would become known as a headless, did it just say? Yeah, it was. Uh, Guanito the Headless. That's cool. Right. Where's, where's the rest of my boys? 
Now, we could go ahead and build a decent retinue up with, you know, the money that we've got kicking around. Probably not a bad idea. Um, some rebellions going on. We don't care about that too much. Right. These people are betrothed and we need ourselves a new advisor. Um, seeing as that guy already likes us, welcome aboard. My other... Oh, shit. They've got elephants. We've won this one. Nobody has ever beaten an elephant before. Did we just gain something then? What was that? Oh, tra train fighter. Man, I wish I hadn't clicked through it. I thought it was a different pop-up. I think that was Train Fighter. Oh, man, our characters are coming out pretty good, though, huh? Humble, zealous, just, diligent. He's actually very, on top of already his incredibly good pre-existing stats. We're doing pretty goddamn well. Right. Tell you about the capital. This time, keep a very close eye on where the hell their army is. They're in boats. Oh, God, that's annoying. Um, is he a Crusader? Yeah, because he's got the Crusader helmet. That's nice. Uh, but I wish I had a Crusader helmet, but no. Apparently, now that we actually want to go on a Crusade to lower Imperial Decadence, Pope's not declaring any. The poor of... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't tell you any more than that. A wealthy merchant by the name of Pierre Valdez gave up all earthly possessions and began, be, be, sorry, began wandering the countryside after a preacher, after a brush with death. He's been condemning the Catholic Church by its corruption as well as calling for a return to more biblical lifestyle. He's Waldensian. Okay, so this is the start of the Waldensian heresy. I mean, not really a lot we can do with it, let's be honest. Uh, high diplomacy sounds pretty worthwhile. This guy, we owe him a favour. All right, that's good, because we're just trying to, you know, get this dude on side, but I guess we don't need to worry about it anymore now that we've got 94 opinion and he owes us a favor. That's great. Okay, so this is his army. Probably going to get crushed, I'd imagine. But literally, we've got elephants. Goodbye. Thank you for turning up. How the turns have tabled. Right, where are they Where are they retreating to? Uh, Heading that way. Okay, they're heading in the direction we're going, so that's fine. Not that we really need to kill them, but they are going... Oh, they're going back to the capital, so are we. What's well, fantastic news. Right, chase him down. Let's finish off what's next. Hey, look, another saint. What a shocker. To no one's surprise. Excuse me, I like this kingdom level title. Right, okay, here we go. Now, um, 21%. Okay, right, now we wait. Now, they can't actually, obviously, take back titles now, so we're good. They may occupy some territory, but I think at this point, it's basically in the bag. Because they haven't got any troops left. Stolas in Grave Sword. Seems a little bit rude, but that's okay. Take everyone we found prisoner. 32% war score. Oh, shit, who did we grab that? That must have been someone important. Um... No, just occupying the capital gives us 21%. Oh, that was a great province to grab then. Right. Uh, we can also... Oh, wife's pregnant. That's great news, seeing as there's only, you know, one other Carly male besides us. Put him in irons. 49%. We're going to take the entirety of the capital. I am going to assault it down to some mercenaries, and if they die, we'll just buy some new ones, you know? It's not a, not a big deal. I don't care much for these guys. Right. There we go. Put him in irons. And of course, the less there are, the less we have to pay, and that means the more money we can save, and then hire some new ones. Again, it's, it always helps pretty well. Okay. Uh, four level 6.2. That sucks, because again, we've got to sit here. This is going to be an easy war, I think. Genuinely not concerned at this stage at all. 90% and all we've taken is two provinces and one. One and lost. Probably an equal amount of battles. Let's be reasonable here. Defeat, defeat, victory, 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 defeat. Okay, we won the majority of them. But that previous setback where we lost their capital was, was quite hefty. I thought it would be a much harder war than it is. Actually, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all we had to siege. Three provinces. Sure. Uh, Kaiserlich Siciliani War of the Great Conquest of Sicilia. Mine? Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks. That's really... Oh, is he our vassal now? Well, that's incredible. Because they had a lot of land in Africa. Oh, my God. Now it's ours. Oops. Uh, got you. So now we've got a lot of Northern Africa, which I don't particularly want. But, hey, that's fine. Is this Julia, Julius Nepos version 2? I guess so. Right. Put everyone down. That was that was easy. 806 retinue survived. Well done, team. Uh, over our vassal limit. You don't say... Uh, so the next person that comes up to us and says, hey, you've got a vassal that should be mine, we'll say, you know, absolutely, yes, of course, you can have that. Crown authority now, then. Um, we do have people who owe us favours, so let's call in those favours. So call in council support. Let's go, uh, the other dude actually wasn't on the council, apparently. Well, that sucks. This dude is malcontent, even though he loves us. I knew he loved us. Why do you, why, why do you have to be mad? Um, stop leading troops a second. That's really, really strange. I'm actually going to leave that one here for today because I think this is a really, really great end point and I've got a lot of vassal management to do and I don't think you guys want to sit here for the next five minutes watching me dish out random crappy vassal titles. Thank you all for watching. This has been a great episode for the HRE, I think. We've learned Imperial Decadence a little bit. We haven't got any laws passed, but I'm going to, you know, maybe start or at least focus next episode on cranking up that Crown Authority, getting prepared for Primogeniture, which is coming up very soon. Three years' time, I believe, and then we can actually pass the Primogeniture succession and at the age of 24 as well. This guy's achieved so much. Like, he's actually just an insane character. You know who else is an insane character? Uh... 
Oh man, I'm trying to think of something good there off the top of my head, but I haven't got it. I'm sorry, I failed you all. Let's give a big shout out to Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Tim Bragg, Glorus, Croesus, Vacuous Backus, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pavis Presley, Asuna Kirito, Conspire T, Jimbo, Oxwell, Fukuna Vasquez, Tom Terry 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 711, Banyol Faust, and Eric B. For their support, the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for keeping the channel monetized and uncensored. I can say whatever I want. We can conquest whoever we want. And honestly, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, things things are good. We haven't got to worry about the man. The man holding us down. I mean, we're the man now. Because, you know, we're sort of imposing high crown authority. Which I don't think is, is really in the spirit of things, huh? And you know who is in the spirit of things? That's right. It's Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lemberg, Euphrates, I See the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoran DeVries, Hajj Dumar, Alpha Scuff, Duncan 2 and 7, Seth McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sir Death, Asro, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, Jay Lara, Peter, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, that is, and Justin Plock. Gonna point out probably not the real people for the ethical treatment of animals. Can't imagine they'd be up for this series, seeing as we the first Holy Fury series we did was killing animals. 